Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the Animating SolidWorks Models with Minimum Effort Quick Tip brought to you by Intercad. My name is Alex Cock, Business Consultant at Intercad and just a quick recap, we have gone through parts 1 and 2 about setting up of the animations from the exploded states that we would have created in SolidWorks and then going from the design to the animation to the animation wizard. Today we are going to talk about point of view and how we can leverage named views within SOLIDWORKS to further enhance the quality of our videos with minimal effort. In part 1, we created our basic animation foundation in our exploded view within the configuration manager. Part 2, we took a look at how we can very quickly make use of the animation wizard to capture all the information that we've created in the exported steps into the SOLIDWORKS animator. Right now, we're going to just recap very quickly the final outcome of the video. Now we have all the sequence of components being removed in the way we want it to be. However, we like to just add a bit of icing to the cake right now and one of the things we like to worry about is the way we move around our parts. So let's return by selecting to the model to the cat environment here and let's just recap a few things. Now I've got a few views that I might want to start off with. Since the parts that will be first removed are the three bolts, I'd like to start my video off by looking at it from the side view. And maybe after that we'd like to just go on to the trimetric view so that we have a nicer view of the removal of components at the front. And finally, I would like to, for example, go on to the isometric view, like this. But what I realize is maybe I just want to create a view where I zoom into this environment here so that I can emphasize even better these bolts that are being removed. So with a quick hit of the tap button, tap key, I'm sorry, I add a new view and I'll say, just give it zoomed in. This is just the name that I'm giving this little name view here. And for example, maybe I've got one that's on the top view. But again, I like it to be zoomed in this way. So let's call it zoomed into. Two. And so on and so forth. So what I've created here is just a set of named views zoomed in, zoomed into. And then there's my front view. And these are the views that I would like to add to the animator. So let's go back to my motion study tab at the bottom here. Click on this. And you will find that in the whole feature manager, if I recall it, of the animator, there's this little option for orientation and camera views with a no entry sign. We'll just ignore that for now. What I'd like, however, is this view here to start off with the front view. Very simply, I just go up to the diamond that you see at zero seconds. I'm telling the system to start off in the front view. All right, And then maybe, say, four seconds later, I would like it to go to the zoomed in one. So I move up to four seconds, zoomed in one. And at eight seconds, I'd like it to go to zoomed in two. All right, And let's just replay this entire animation again. So this is how things look like right now from the different viewpoints. Not exactly the most intuitive process here right now but you can see that we are getting the, more or less the results that we want. So let's start off once again. Front view. Go back to the start of this animation here. But this front view is a bit small so let's go back to the model again and I'd like to create a zoomed in front view. Let's give this one here, hit the space bar, let's have it zoomed in front. And let's change a few things here right now. I'll go back again to the motion study one last time. I'd like to change this here right now. Right mouse click, view orientation, zoom in front, and then maybe I wanted to zoom out to the front view. Right? And I like this to happen a bit later in the video, so I drag the 
diamond here to the eighth, second and this one I like it to start working on the fourth now from zero to two seconds I like it to remain in the zoomed in front view so at this spot here I do a right mouse click view orientation zoom in front this means that from zero to two there's no change in the views let's take a look at how it looks like right now so that's how it goes and starts to move out parts get removed emphasizing the front here zooming to the front alright not too bad but we still need to tweak it a little bit more and one of the things is perhaps I like to just move this to the back and at the end here let's see what do I have here this is the zoomed in two and at the end here I like it to end up at the trimetric view alright so one last time let's take a look at how it's gonna work right now parts come out the bolts side view parts get dragged out emphasizing the front here parts are being dragged out in the back not too bad but this gives an overview of how we can very quickly create named views to suit the purpose of our animation creation so quick recap again create an exploded view in SOLIDWORKS, the CAD environment itself, we use the SOLIDWORKS animation wizard to bring the information into the animation environment to create our video and we've gone on to see very quickly how we can set up named views to further enhance the quality of our video. In the next part, we'll be taking a look at how we can go on to add some additional tweaks just to give that final bit of quality touches to the animation itself but for now we've come to the end of this part of this five part series as always the numbers shown are the best ways you can contact Intercat or you could drop us an email or visit us on the web my name is Alex Cobb business consultant with Intercat this has been a SolarWorks quick tip session proudly brought to you by Intercat thank you for your time